Judge Esther Salas is the first Hispanic female to be appointed to the U.S. District Court in New Jersey. She's handled cases involving the execution of gang members and sending celebrity housewives to jail. And Sunday evening, she became victim to a horrible crime. According to neighbors, it all started around 5 p.m. Sunday evening when a man disguised as a FedEx driver rang the doorbell to the judge's home. When her husband, Mark Anderl, a criminal defense attorney and former assistant Essex County prosecutor, and her son, Daniel, opened the front door, they were immediately shot at. 20-year-old Daniel, a student at Catholic University who had just celebrated his birthday this past Friday, died. His father, Mark, in critical condition at a local hospital. Judge Salas was in the basement when the shootings happened. Something woke me up, and I thought I heard one shot, and I, and I woke up. And I said, you know, it's not the 4th of July. Then all of a sudden, neighbors that live around the corner, they show up because they heard all the police. They were concerned for us. Oh, there was a van here, and they knocked on the door. I, was, I almost died. When I saw the police and I was told that it was their home, I just can't believe it. The FBI is currently investigating, along with U.S. Marshals and local police. Two U.S. Marshals remain staked outside of the family's home in North Brunswick. Neighbors understandably shocked. Yeah, it's, we, are, we are in a very safe area, and it's, it's sad. And they are very nice people and very good family, too. The heartbreak is Daniel was their only child. And he was just a loving, good kid, very close. He and his father would play basketball when they had the basketball net outside. Marion has been their neighbor and friend for over 20 years. In fact, we were supposed to go out Friday night, this coming Friday night, with another judge and his wife. Now, multiple outlets are reporting that the shooter, an attorney, is dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. His body was found earlier at a private residence in Liberty, New York. Now, the local police and the FBI are on the scene investigating either a package or a letter that was found next to the body and had the judge's name on it, as well as a gun that was found there, too. Police investigating whether or not that was the gun used right here in the judge's home. We'll, of course, keep you posted as the story develops. Reporting in North Brunswick, Emily Young, New Jersey News Network.